Well, this is it. A culmination of 4,400 node type things all stuck together over six days by thousands of people all through the Destiny community. It's unbelievable the amount of work and time it's taken with people staying up all night, but they finally got the code which gave us the route through the corridors of time maze. Now, what was it going to be? We were all so excited about weapon it was going to be because it's a complete mystery. Surely it's going to be something totally brand new. It's going to be a Galahorn with a fusion rifle strapped to the rocket. So it's going to be, it's going to be Trials of Osiris or it's going to be something, but we don't know what it is. It's so exciting. And what was it? It was the Bastion fusion rifle, which we've known about for yonks. Now then, I'm not complaining about the fact that it's the Bastion Fusion Rifle because we've got a new exotic weapon and that's marvellous. But to find out that the reward for this incredibly long quest, which took so long, is something that we already knew about, that's a little bit, oh, I don't know, a little bit disappointing, really, which is a shame. Never mind, let's go and get the bloody thing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to go through the maze and give you the final maze sequence. And then we'll got a little bit of a mission which pops up. So I'll show you how to complete that too. So then let's bugger off to the corridors of time. So for the very first part, we've got to walk through the corridors of time in a specific order in order to access the correct room. Now then, if you've not done any of this before, you haven't gotten of any of the 19 pieces of lore or the emblem that you can get from doing that, I've got a video popping up on the screen here, which will give you a uh, insight into how to complete that and all the 19 pieces of lore and how to get them. So take a look at that first if you want to. But in order to put this final code in, we need to walk through the doors in this particular sequence. It's the longest sequence we've had by far. There's 30 symbols there. And I want to give a shout out to H. Paramore over there on the Raid Secrets Reddit, who's done this fantastic visualization of the order in which you have to do the rooms. So let's just go through them here using this great little map. So what we've got is Clover, Diamond, Snake, Clover, Plus, Plus, Hexagon, 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 Plus, Diamond, Plus, Snake, Diamond, Clover, Snake, Plus, Plus, Snake, Snake, Hexagon, Diamond, Clover, Plus, Diamond, Hexagon, Hexagon, Diamond, Plus, Diamond. And once you've gone through all of that, you'll get to the Time Lost Vault. And we're in the Time Lost Vault, we can walk across and finally have a good old squint at the grave. Now, I won't give you uh, uh, any spoilers as to what is said, but there's some lovely bits of dialogue which are well worth a listen, and I'll put it right at the end of the video if you want to hear the complete pieces of dialogue. Okay, so once that's done, we're off to see Saint-14 in the tower. So have a good read of what he's got to say, and then he'll give you the first part of the quest called Memento. Now, for this part of the quest, we actually have to go to the Tangled Shore and collect fallen intel from either servitors or captains. Now, I'd recommend that uh, you go to the Tangled Shore landing zone, Thieves Landing, and then go and do the Empty Tank Lost Sector, which is the one with the nightclub in it, which is a bit of a boogie, because you've always got one servitor who'll pop up every single time. So go in, destroy the servitor, run out, come back in and destroy the servitor, and do that five times, and then that will be the first part of the quest done and we've got to sod off and see the spider what does my guardian need so it turns out we've got to go back to the lost sector we just did the empty tank one and kill a bloke called axe snickling axe ass sinks yes let's call him ass sinks let's go and kill ass sinks in the uh, lost sector so once you get in there don't forget to flick the switch after you kill the servitor which will open the tunnel at the back which will allow you into this little arena area here it's just the normal lost sector really and there you'll find old ass sinks and you'll try and cut your ass off so kill him until he's dead and then guess what we've got to go back and see the spider again i'm eager to continue our friendship. Yes, I love you too, forearms. Right, this is the most long-winded part of it, if you don't count the six days people were trying to figure out the code. We've got to do 10 spider bounties, 30 challenging enemies, and eight public events on the Tangled Shore. Now, two of them will be rolled into one, really, because once you start doing the public events, you'll easily get your challenging enemies. So those parts aren't so bad. The worst bit is the 10 bounties, really. Now then, you can get the cheapy spider daily bounties, 
bounties. They're quite easy to do, so make sure you pick them up before you embark on the uh, public events, because you'll just get them as you go. But the other ones we need to get are the uh, more difficult wanted bounties, because you can't just pick up ten of the daily bounties. You're going to have to do a mix of both. So I just picked up as many as I could for the Tangled Shore, and then I picked up the rest on the EDZ, so I only had one more place to go to. So it's not too bad, but this is the longest part, and it'll probably take you about 40 minutes or so to get the whole thing done. Oh, and one more thing, the ghost fragments that you need to get the wanted bounties, and you haven't got any, you'll pick those up as you're going about your business uh, in the... <laughs> I don't mean going to the toilet, I mean doing the public events and so on. But also pick up some patrols too, because ghost fragments can be the reward for those as well. And you'll probably only need about six of these ones to do in order to get the whole ten. So once you've got the whole ten, guess what? No, we don't have to go to the spider. We have to go to Trapper's Cave in Four Horn Gulch. Now, Trapper's Cave is the lost sector in the Four Horn Gulch. It's in the center of the map. Just there, look. So make your way there and go into the lost sector, which is hidden in this little cavey bit here, look. Now, the grave you have to inspect is kind of just halfway through the lost sector. You don't have to complete it or open the chest or anything like that. So once you get to this waterfall area, drop down to the bottom and you'll see this purple purple mist and then inspect it to get the quest step. Look out because screams materialize and blow your ass through your nostrils. Anyway, once you survive that, we're on to the next step. We've got to do a special version of the Hollowed Lair Strike, the Memento version, which is basically the name of this entire mission. And you can see it on the EDZ map there. It's easy to get to. It's only 750 power and it's match made so you don't have to find a bespoke fire team. You can just pile in and run the strike as normal. And what you've got to do is kill that chap called Rixis, Rixis, or, or, or some sort of strange fallen name. You can see him, he's in the final room with the final boss, and he materialises after the first attack of the boss. So once you've given him a bit of a kick in and the boss retreats back to his force field, you'll see this chap come down the side, just kick his face in until he dies, and then that's it. You've completed the step, and we've got to go and see Saint-14 in the tower. For no bloody reason I can fathom, it didn't capture the bit where I actually got the mission completion from Saint. But here we go, here is the Bastion gun, and it's a fusion rifle, as you know, and we've got... What have we got on it? Let's have a look. So it's got Saint's fists, which are charged to fire three spreads of kinetic slugs. We've got hammer forge rifling for extra range, liquid coils for increased impact damage but slower charge. Then you've got the breakthrough, which is one of the interesting unique perks, which can shoot through any elemental shield and take off some damage there. And we've also got composite stock too. Now it's quite good fun to use. I had a little run round with it in Sorrow's Harbour doing um, the Altars of Sorrow, and it does pack a pretty good punch. I love the animations on the gun. I love the way the different barrels spin. It's a really nice looking gun. It's just, well, not as much of a arse blower offer as I was hoping for, but the knight is still young, as they say, so we'll see what other tricks it has up its sleeve. And that's it, Guardians. That's all we've got for the Bastion Fusion Rifle. A really interesting, long, convoluted quest which involved the entire community. Even if you were just watching from the sidelines, it was quite interesting. If perhaps a tad totally baffling at times and a little bit bewildering. But anyway, I loved it. I enjoyed it. And as I promised at the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you the little cutscene that you get once you finish the Corridors of Time in the Time Lost Vault. Enjoy the cutscenes, Guardians, and I'll see you in the next vid. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Thank you for coming. We've gathered here today to celebrate the life of my mentor, my inspiration. The Hive King Slayer. The Young Wolf. Hero of the Red War. The man who avenged K6. He had a hundred times, I cannot recall. And he died doing what he does best defending the last city of humanity. 
Ages ago, he saved my life. And then inspired me to save myself. I am glad. I am glad that he did. Because Travel held us. He is gone. No one to save us now. On the day we met, I decided I would follow his example. I'm still trying. I've marked this grave with one of his favorite weapons, shattered in that final confrontation. It used to be mine. All who find what we've left here, please leave it be. Unless, unless you're still out there somewhere. You've performed miracles before. In which case, in which case take it and come back to us. And we'll kill what killed you. Or die. Sausages Gaming Channel